we packed up, drove away. And as we were driving away on the TV, we saw the fires and all the chaos going on. Woodstock 99. It was going to be the biggest party on the planet. But that's not what any of us remember it for. Uh, you know, you watch the documentary and it's something completely different than what I experienced. You know, there was, um, you know, it was so huge. We, we got it. We went to the hotel that we were staying at and the hotel was full of bands and fans and you could feel the excitement in the air. Then we drove to the show. We were on the, we were the second to last band of the whole festival. And um, when we got there, we had two hours of press to do. So... I'm telling my manager, I'm like, I need to warm up. This is 250,000 people. I need to get my, my game down here. But we had press right up until the show. We had 15 minutes to warm up. 15 minutes for me is nothing. I'd like to have at least an hour or two to sit down and relax. So I had 15 minutes before I'd played in front of the biggest audience I've ever played for. And then Robbie Krieger was in our dressing room. He's like, hey, let's do Roadhouse Blues because that goes over well. I'm like, I've never played that song in my life. So I had to learn a new song in 15 minutes before we went on in front of the biggest crowd I've ever played for in my life. Um, and then you go on stage. I remember walking by Jewel and walking by all these famous musicians and going to play the show. And the crowd was great for us. They were awesome. I loved it. You know, I um, um, there was... It, you know, nothing but positivity with our set. And um, we were still at the end of our first record. This was before the band really took off in the state. So it was a, it was a great uh, opportunity for us. But Robbie, I, I, I appreciate it so much for him to come out there and, and show his support of the band and, and play with us after, you know, he's such a legend to get up there and play mm -hmm. with us. It was, it was actually, um, it wasn't nerve wracking to have that. I think it was fun because I got to take the back seat and let him do the guitar solo in and do all that stuff and have him be the feature. So he, he kind of gave me a little bit of a break because um, when you're playing in front of that many people and you're the focus, it gets a little, you know, um, you know, you're a little uncomfortable at right. some time. So uh, it was good for him to come in and take the spotlight for a minute. Welcome to the And then we packed up, drove away, and as we were driving away on the TV, we saw the fires and all the chaos going on. So we lived in our own little bubble. We went in, had a great show, left, and then the whole, then the whole show fell. You know, it seemed like it was it went downhill. I didn't, I didn't know about all the drama. We, we didn't have cell phones back then. We didn't have, you know, we weren't on the internet looking at stuff. Yeah, so sure. we didn't know what was going on. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.